Hello my friends. In a previous video I showed you how to construct a Windsor chair. Now I'm going to show you how to make a rocking chair. This is the Windsor rocking chair and its construction method is almost identical as making the Windsor. The main difference is with the legs. And as you can see here, the bottom of the leg is nearly parallel. And that allows a thicker base to be able to attach the rocker. Also, the length of the leg is about two inches shorter than a standard chair. And that's to make up for the width of the rocker. So these finish at about 13 inches from the bottom of the chair to the bottom of the leg. The rocker itself, the dimension is about two and a quarter and the length of the rocker is measuring approximately 30 inches. Now to make this there is an arc, the radius this radius and this radius for this particular rocker and most rockers are about the same is a 52 inch radius so when I made my pattern I drew it on the floor uh, in the garage with chalk and that allowed me to get my radius for the rocker now one thing should be noted when you get to the end, the curve does not continue. There is a tab or a straight area right here. Now that is the break for the rocker. If you don't have that, the rock and chair can continue to go back and flip over. So that is the stop to make a safety from flipping the chair. Masking tape was applied to reduce tear out on the back side. Here you can see the first cut without the masking tape. Then the preceding cuts, it held it, no tear out. Now I'll clean those out with a chisel. The fit, you don't want to have to force it. If you do, you may crack the leg and it's, the saw is undercut so it has to be shaved with a chisel. And you see my scribe line? I only need to remove half of that which showing.
because the rocker has a curve and we cut straight we have this gap and that'll be on both of the legs so if you look at the front leg I have it marked here we need to remove this much on the front and the same happens to the back leg and then that will give us a close fit. I'm going to cut a stop on the edges. Then I'll take the rest out with the chisel. Here I have some sanding dust or sawdust and I'm going to mix some uh, type 1 3 with it some glue and this is how I make a filler and what I'm going to use this for is the, when I put the rockers on the legs there's uh, some uh, imperfections with the uh, slot and this will fill any of the voids so it'll make a tighter fit. And we don't want to overdo it. I have the layout lines and I'm going to apply glue to the area that will be in the joint. This is to make sure that the glue doesn't all get squeezed out. That there will be glue on all the surfaces. Now we need the glue in the joints. Okay. Now I have the layout lines on there. The lines help me get it to the exact position that I want it. And it was tighter and that's because the glue already started to make the wood swell. Now what's going to make this permanent is I'm going to pin this. So I have the depth marked on the 3 8 bit but I'm going to start with a quarter inch okay we got to be careful we don't throw all the way through we want it to be a blind hole so from the outside there won't be any now this one is going to take it almost through but I'll stop at the top The Windsor chair is a very comfortable chair. The rocker is an extremely nice chair to have. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.